Hello everyone, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. I'm so grateful for your support. Soulmates, oh, I like it. Oh, penguins, I think they mate for life. Nice energy, Virgo. Not for you. Well, something isn't for you here, but a soulmate is certainly for you. Well, so that's a little bit of a mystery part of this reading. We have imagine, okay. So, are you re letting something go to meet with a soulmate? So let's see here, Virgo. <clears throat> We're looking at the overall energies of what's coming in new to your love life at this time. So let's see what the overall energy is. And we have, Rosie, don't bark, please. We have the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn energy, happily ever after, the marriage energy of Pisces. This is a mommy card. It's somebody who's very nurturing. And we have five of wands. People who are competing for your attention, Virgo. So what is happening? Okay. We have the ace of wands. So you have a, a passionate desire for someone. Virgo, the Ace of Wands energy is passionate new beginning. We have you healing or moving away from one energy and going towards another. Someone's coming in as you're healing from some situation that was not for you. The Ace of Coins, a love offer of significance. When we get the Three of Cups, that becomes a, a diamond ring. Uh, two Aces, nice start, Virgo. <clears throat> We have the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands. Hmm. So what we have here is Leo energy. So there is someone that you're feeling very self-protective about. We have Leo energy here also. So people are competing, but you're standing your ground and you're only going to take your soulmate. Okay. We have a beautiful Pisces energy. The, the Knight of Cups is coming in, looking very handsome here. A beautiful bouquet of roses proper from the, not the supermarket roses, but definitely the roses from the florist or the garden. We have a beautiful letter here with a wax seal. We have a lovely picnic and a handsome person. Okay. Scorpio energy. Somebody from the past is returning, though. We have the High Priestess energy, Cancerian energy. You are really tuned into your intuition right now, which is very good, Virgo. You have a very strong intuition. Pisces energy and Pisces energy here. So your seventh house on your marriage chart or your astrology chart is Pisces energy. So you have someone that looks like you're going to form a long-term commitment with you're very interested in them they're very interested in you the two of swords but you have someone you don't want to talk to okay so you have something coming and something going here we have the clarification card please spirit for the queen of pentacles energy that is capricorn energy it is a card of deep nurturing and love somebody who's willing to do the work Somebody who will stand by your side, very complimentary to your energy, Virgo. Let's see why we have it here. We have the Heart of Swords. Okay, so <clears throat> you are making a head over heart decision that you want a person who's willing to do the work as your equal, shoulder to shoulder in love. You are definitely requiring uh, someone who's grounded, who knows what they want. Very good. Oh my gosh, the King of Swords. Aquarius energy is clarifying the Ten of Cups. So you're not messing around, Virgo. You want you want the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, and that's what the swords are about. Somebody who is a player is trying to get your attention, 
I feel like you're. this is a person you're not going to talk to. Not for you. Looks like you're just really going to lock somebody out. We have the Three of Swords. Okay. So you're not going to have a new beginning that's passionate with this player energy. You are going to have a new beginning that's passionate with someone else. So let's take a look at that. Somebody looks like they put you in a third party situation and you are not having it, Virgo. We go from the Two of Swords to the Three of Swords. You're like, nope, not talking to that person. So, Virgo, you are healing. We see healing energy here twice. Look at moving forward. Aquarius energy, smarter for your experiences. You're having this emperor energy. You have mastery over your attraction. You are very much in command of your emotions. You are looking for a win in love. The Eight of Cups, yep, you have left somebody behind, somebody that really gave you a run for your money, very unpleasant kind of person, very selfish, and it looks like they're still in hot pursuit, but, you know, when they come back at you again, you are not talking to them. You are going silent. This person doesn't know what to think, but it's almost like you're hiding out. We have the clarification card here for the Eight of Cups. Something happened very suddenly. It was a sudden tower moment. You found out somebody wasn't who they said they were. Okay. You have fire in your belly, though, for the right person. We have the Leo energy of the strength and courage card to go forward and to make a commitment with the soulmate energy. Tell us more about the Strength card and the Ace of Coins. The Nine of Swords, you're not without reservations. The Nine of Swords is Gemini energy. It's remorse and regret about the past. It's feeling fearful at night, but by day you're doing quite well. And here we have your Soulmate card again. So, well, you're up in your head, but you know what? When you've been hurt, it's really normal to feel fearful. Absolutely it is. And you feel confused. So the Seven of Cups says that there hasn't been a commitment. A choice has not been fulfilled yet with your soulmate. The Seven of Cups means that you're you're kind of walking around with your head in the clouds fantasizing. They're fantasizing about you, but neither of you have clarity about the direction or the level of commitment that you're going to have uh, at this time. But we know what you want. We know what you're, you're not going to settle for this. You definitely know the direction you're headed. Laws of attraction will take you there. The Heart of Wands, the Queen of Wands, Fiery Queen of Wands. Somebody who's a, a very strong business person, Virgo. Somebody who's very smart, very foxy, very clever, quite witty, quite charming, beautiful, successful. This is Aries energy. This is a person who takes charge wherever she walks in as an energy. We have the hanged man. You are taking a wait and see attitude. You're waiting for just the right moment to either accept a love offer or to give a love offer. Why do we have the Knight of Cups energy with the hanged man? Both of those are Pisces energy. Nine of Cups. <laughs> All right. So basically, your feeling is, is that you'll look at things from a different perspective. Virgo, you tend to really like to be in a very grounded relationship. But right now, you're taking time out to enjoy yourself, to hang out with somebody, to um, enjoy laughter and fun and friends and time together. Community, very community-oriented time. You may share friends with this person. For those of you who are going out to a wedding, you may meet somebody either in a group of friends or a wedding or at a friend's party. The Six of Cups, though, that is a soulmate love again. Somebody that you want to grow old with. Somebody you're very loyal to. The Three of Coins. Somebody you may have met at work. Somebody that feels like you've known them a million years. And for some of you, you may have run into somebody that you knew since childhood and or you've known you know a long time ago from a work project oh there you go oh virgo twin flame energy this is a card the number 22 it is a naked heart tarot card of 22 that is 11 11 energy twin flame energy going through a massive transformation to come into union with someone 
with whom you do want to spend your life with. Somebody that you want to work with. Somebody you can collaborate with. Honey, let's go to the paint store. What do we want to do in the family room? Let's pick out some bedding. <laughs> All right. We have the innocence of cups. So many of you are being very intuitive. You're sensing that, you know, you're going to draw in somebody who's probably younger than you or somebody who has children, one or the other, or both. Very interesting energy, Virgo. And we have the innocence of wands, throwing caution to the winds. But following your intuition, you're in this energy right now of the moon card and that speaks very much to the fact that you feel a little bit worried, a little bit fearful of um, what's, what your future brings. You need to let go of something or someone, which is proving to be more difficult than you thought, but you are letting go of them. We see you in this energy of you want a victory in love and to do, to have a victory in love, you are letting go of this person that hurt you. You're not speaking to them. You don't want to hear it. So for many of you, this two of, oh, two of swords is clarifying the two of swords. Boy, oh boy, not only are you not going to talk to them, you have blocked them on everything. This person has a lot to say. They want to rush in. But you want to, you want the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Virgo, somebody's coming in with your energy, <clears throat> with the chariot card. Somebody who's very courageous, and look at this, two hearts beat as one. You are ignoring one person, and you are gravitating. You are holding on to a new beginning. You're holding out for a new beginning with your soulmate, Virgo. So Virgo, sending you love from Chicago. That's where I'm broadcasting from. Please send some love back to me. Tell me in the comments where you're viewing this video from, and I hope to see you again soon in another video. Thank you so much for joining me today.